UTV takeover, Wayanoka, Oklahoma, 2020. It's time to take 2JP out, make a couple of test hits in the sand for the very first time. So we've run it in the dirt. Yep. <laughs> never been in the sand which is you know the surface that we're uh, we've really built this thing for so boys are getting the tires loaded up on it we did a little bit of work on the dash getting it all set up so we can uh, go out there and do some actual data logging this time I think we're gonna start with the tune basically exactly the same as we ran it in the dirt uh, back at the shop we're just gonna cruise it out there and see what she does maybe take over you know that's kind of what this is all about just take over the dunes take it over the other thing this is going to give us a chance to do is actually cruise this thing through the dunes a little bit and see how everything's you know holds up see how the engine stays cool see how the transmission does see how the iits do with the air cooler setup so we're gonna to have to cruise it for a couple of miles at least to get it out to the spot so should be uh should be neat overall oh yeah boys time to fill this bad boy up so we got three drums of freaking renegade pro e85 here We've been running this all weekend and our other stuff we got Matt over here filling up a fiver. We'll take another fiver and we'll fill up the onboard 15 and we should be good to go for some runs. All right, time to get this thing out here. So we got uh, about a two mile cruise out to the spot. We could have trailered it closer, but I think it'll be a good little experiment to understand how this thing's gonna move through the dunes when it comes time to take it out to Old Mobile Hill and places like that where you have to drive it a ways, we're gonna need to you know, know if we have any issues with that. So we're just gonna fire her up, take her for a cruise, watch the temperatures, see how it does, and uh, go from there. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> I can't even drive behind him. All right, we made it to the parking lot. Cruise over actually went really well. The engine was staying nice and cool. Everything was staying nice and cool. It set up really stiff, so she was a rough ride through the bumps, but uh, honestly, did uh, did great. I don't think we got any major concerns at all, so we didn't have a flag for the general. Leo's going to get a flag. We'll let it uh, chill here for just a minute, and then we'll rip it in there. What are you doing? Just getting ready to go for a little run. OMG, run. dude. So we found our spot out here. It's decently flat. It's got a little uphill uh, shutdown area. I think we got enough room to fire this thing up and make a couple hits with it and see how it likes the sand. Uh, I think um, I think he's going to like the sand. I hope so, man. I hope so. Hopefully she'll hook a little harder. So we're going to start uh, basically with that same tune we had in the dirt. Uh -huh. Probably around 750 horsepower for yeah. wheels. Uh -huh. And uh, just go out there and send it. And it's like uh, being behind a uh, sand tornado. Hopefully. No, I mean, that's what it's like just rolling behind you in the dunes today. <laughs> so we'll have good data this time. So yeah. that'll be very important. Very good. So this we're logging all of the sensors, you know, on the machine this time. We'll have the draggy, draggy data. So all right. very we'll cool. be able to start to use that to make sensible changes. Yeah. Well, big moment here, dude. Yo. Big moment, dude. Yo. Big moment. Big moment. Big moment, big guy. Moment. All right. Suited up, yeah, camered sure. up, geeked up. Yeah, for sure, man. Very excited. So, and make a hit and feel it out. It's hard to say exactly how much space we got here, but ideally we can, at the very least, get all the way through first gear. Yep. And get a good, you know, 300 foot pull out of it and see what the day looks like. Go from there. Okay, 2JP, first hit in the sand. Here we go. with this surface 
is that unfortunately it's not level so the draggy data is going to be funky but it is what it is pretty much Whew. i'm very nervous right now very nervous wow Applause. You start a round of applause. Dude, hey, so much going. We're too far away. From yeah, dang it. <laughs> I felt it. You felt it. He felt it. Wow, dude. He could probably just maybe put it in the center. Yeah, that was awesome. Whew. All right, buddy. How'd you feel in the sand? Man, it felt really, really good. It, that, it honestly felt to me like it spun more. Yeah. It just, you know, for the first bit, she was just a bacon, the tires. And once it built a little speed, you know, it settled in, and then I could feel it pull me into the seat. It pulled the RPMs down a little bit, and then it really started pulling through there. But, uh, yeah, definitely managing traction coming out is... It's a real thing. ...going to be a major point of work. So whether that means more tires or whether that means we just do that with, you know, some sort of traction control strategy, not sure yet, but... Uh, Interesting. Bottom line, she chooches. Like, it's really cool to me that we were able to put it on the trailer, bring it out here, drive it, you know, this far out in the dunes, yep. and then put it up on the trans brake and send it, and it ran flawlessly again. So, overall, real big success. We'll look at the data, make sure everything looks okay and whatnot, but yeah, I'm happy with that. About to hear some draggy data as well, so. I don't know if it was as fast as dirt. It didn't look as fast. It didn't feel as fast as dirt, but. Zero to 60, I mean, we're real close. Zero to 60, 252. No, oh, actually, that's faster. that's faster. It was 254 last time. Oh, well, I thought it was 250. No, oh, 250. Okay, all right. Well, I mean, once it started pulling, it was pulling super hard. Yeah. So 300, we... 300 foot was 411. I think we were 405. Yeah, okay. 405. Okay. So. Okay, interesting. Do you know if? Can you tell by the line if he was on it through the whole time? So it looks short, but it's so hard to tell. It, it appears so. Okay. Uh, okay. Maybe we can step off 300 feet out here, but it, yeah, it appears to still be accelerating. Yeah, well, that's only the, that's the 104 foot mark. So if you go to the 300, because I think like last time the, oh, okay. the line was like peeking out. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So oh I, my gosh. I definitely wasn't in it for 300 feet. <laughs> okay, so we're talking threes right, for sure. Probably a sub four second 300 feet. So let's look at the line. It pulled left on me a little bit. I don't know if I lined up poorly or what, but we'll look at the line again. Maybe we can set a cone out for 300 feet and then uh, we'll actually just make sure we send it all the way through because I was able to stop just fine. Okay. All right. So. Well, hell yeah, brothers. Yeah. Cool. Yep. This is it, buddy. It's time, man. So we took a little better look at the line, and we think we've got a, a flatter, straighter line, and uh, Seuss paced out. I'll probably be like right here. 100 big steps to get us, you know, close to 300 feet. So I'll try to make sure I run it all the way through 300 feet this time. So, you know, maybe we get a good 300-foot number. And, yep. Uh, I mean, we just put, like, a world record 0-60 to 60 for the car. So I mean, yeah, pretty amazing considering how badly it's spinning out here. Like yep. I can't wait to get this thing on a prep track at this point. It's gonna go so fast. Well, but, uh, yeah, we'll take her out there and send it. See if uh, numbers get a little better. Oh, they will. They Doug Zenderville. What are we about to see here, buddy? So that first one, incredible. But he may have, you know, got off the gas a little early. 100% early. Pace it off, big paces. Big, big paces. Probably close to 350 feet. <sighs> Good chance the car could be doing over 100 at this point, so. I think it will. I think it will. Also, he's aimed a little bit more at this upslope, so, you know, if all it fails, it's going uphill, shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah, we're doing much better. Uh, I think it's gonna go faster. But, did you see that last run? How much spinning was going on? Matt it's had insane. It on, yeah, Matt yeah, here's the slow-mo, by the way.
talk about spinning. Dude. That was crazy spinning. Talk about spinning. We actually need more tire. Which is, I don't know how you get more, how do you get more aggressive than that? No idea, but that's what we're gonna do. Unbelievable levels of nervousness, excitement, anticipation. We're still honestly about 160 wheel horsepower down. So we just are just doing testing here. First hits in the sand, so don't want to get crazy. Don't want to get crazy. way faster that was way faster <laughs> it dude. looked way faster i don't know dude that was fast <sighs> the levels of nervousness i'm feeling right now i don't know if they come through but between the sounds and the feels it's insane captain sano oh let's go talk to him okay that looked faster from outside how'd it feel on it, the inside it felt a lot better that line was much better it went nice and straight i barely had to steer it at all stayed into it a little longer like honestly first gear for 300 feet is pretty good gear yeah oh you know? yeah but uh okay rick what do we got for numbers that felt it felt better so felt better look better looked way better zero to 60. way better okay. way what? better what? Two, 243. Oh. 243 oh my gosh and this soft sand oh horrible sand too gosh dude okay 300 wow. foot we're inching on threes oh we're no <laughs> no! Really? 403. Wow! Wow! That felt That's like a three dang, second. Man. Maybe now Gosh. that dang. you've got the line and it's maybe a little compacted, maybe it would be a little bit better. Yeah, I don't know. Who's to say? Yeah, possibly. possibly. Yeah, I mean, there's things we could do, right? Obviously, we're spinning really terribly out of the hole. So, you know, we could take some RPM out of the launch to try to soften up the hit. We could run the dump valve to try to soften up the hit. Um, you know, so, obviously, threes are in it, especially in a better surface. But. Can we add timing? Is that a thing? Do we have that out here? Yeah, I mean, we could do that too. We could do that too. Um, I don't want to step on Don's tunes. I'll say that. I mean, you know. Yeah, and I don't, uh, with this, again, not being really a good flat surface, uh, I don't know how much we're actually doing by doing that. Yeah, right? plus yes. the spinning aspect, right? Right. I think, it, you know, if anything, we should make an adjustment to try to get some spin out of it. Yep. You know, if we're going to try to hit that three number out here. But, you know, honestly, the, the goal for today was to make some sit hits in the sand and start to understand what it's going to want going forward. And I think the biggest thing we learned is that it needs more tire. Yep. Just straight needs more tire. And, uh, you know. Wow. 240. Yeah. Insane. So how does that graph look, Rick, for 300? Definitely didn't let off, right? No, it didn't, uh, didn't plateau off like the last one. Okay, yeah, I just want to make sure we're going the right distance. Whew! Far and away, the fastest thing I've ever seen run on sand. She's a ripper. Yeah, interesting. It almost looks like it kind of falls off. Wow, probably starting to run out to the end of the gear. I mean... Ever thought about tapping second and see what happens? I mean, yeah, that's, you know, we could have tapped second there. For sure. It would have taken it, I feel. It was stretching first pretty far. Oh, well, it might be worth it. See if we can put down some more torque. Right, right, right. Yeah, that might that might get it done, you know, right there. Because it should shift basically instantaneously. It's not like, you know. Yeah. Well, wow. Well, we're going to pause for a second. I'm going to plug the laptop in and make sure we're getting data from this, you know, run so we have something useful to go back with. And, uh, and maybe we'll make one more hit. Hell yeah. Hey dude, the boys are checking her over, getting her all fueled up. Tuner Don is in the laptop from halfway across the country. Really? Making things happen. What is he making happen? Not quite sure. So we showed him the data. The data honestly looked really excellent. It definitely suggested that we just need more tire on this thing. It's yep. 25 to 30 miles an hour of ground speed before the tires start to catch up. My you know, and it pulls the RPMs down, really starts to accelerate. So we can't do anything about the tires. Now, obviously, but, uh, you know, maybe we can take a little smoke out of it down low. Maybe we can add a little smoke to it up top. Big smoke guy. See what One happens. One thing we're going to so. do, too, is uh, also roll the lane for maybe 50, 60 feet. 
and then Doug's going to turn out and come back and then go in that same lane. Right. So we're not on virgin sand, hopefully on packed sand. Yeah. So we'll see what that does. Who's to say? Yeah, I think, you know, even though this isn't an ideal service, even though we're going to make changes in the machine in terms of tires and whatnot, we're still going to, you know, go ahead and see if we can click off that three second, 300 foot mark yeah, yeah, time I'd, out here. So I'd like to see that zero to 60 drop a little bit too, which I think could happen. Yeah. Yeah. All right, boys, our good friend Don came in, did some excellent recalibrating. I don't really know exactly what he did, but at the end of the day, things happened. People did them. And, uh, now we're plugging all our stuff back in, fans and uh, whatever else, and it's time to make the last test hit. Go for the big number. Heck yeah, dude. I feel good about it. So we'll rerun the same track, and I think hopefully get a little bit better traction. I think he updated the boost strategy a little bit. And uh, yeah, we'll get one more send on this thing and get out of here. All right, boys. Time for the final run here. Going for threes in the 300 and we're going for better than a 242 to 60. We'll see what happens. Interesting. Looks like Don took power out of the hole. I would bet he took power out of the hole. Oh yeah, boys. And the freaking 2JP support vehicle. All right, all right. Look at how beautiful that sunset is, by the way. Unreal. All right. Well, Looks like it came out of the hole lighter, if I had to guess. Yeah, I think Don, you know, softened up the boost coming in to, you know, try to get it to not spin so dang much, thinking that it would go faster. But what I think we just learned from that pass is that big aggressive paddles like these just want to spin. Yep. And the faster you spin them, the more forward they go. I thought by feel it was going to be better because it didn't feel like it spun as much but uh we actually slowed down by yeah. a good bit all right so, so what was the data just so we get it uh, out the 0 to 60 was 272 and then wow 419. wow yep so you know spinning is winning on the sand with big paddles apparently so yeah. you know you got to go through those steps to understand you know what a chassis like this with this kind of power and those kind of tires are going to want but it turns out just send it so Okay, well, hey, we'll good good to know, man. Turn it back up and, uh, you know, get the number that way. But well, listen, 2JP was out here ripping, did a great job, and uh, I think we'll be back out at some point yeah. this weekend, probably back with the more spicy tune. Yep, yep, we'll see how the rest of the weekend, uh, weekend goes, but, you know, real successful test day. We're pulling good data now that we can use to tune this thing. We still have more sensors we got to add, but, you know, we're getting there on that, and, uh, you know, we're learning some things about the tire set up in the chassis set up i think we know now that we need more tire we need to just send it really hard and right out of the get so yep good stuff man so uh yeah we'll be back i don't know uh in this video or not i think probably not probably not all right well thanks for being with us then. <laughs> so obviously we're just starting to tip in to, to tuning this thing and it's already putting down you know really good numbers but it's got a long ways to go so we are still not putting all the power to it obviously got to in it so uh, next week when we get back from this trip we're going to be adding uh, both front uh, front wheel speed sensor and a, basically a drive shaft speed sensor so we can really understand spin rates and what's going on so all that stuff is going to help us continue to turn this thing uh, up and put down the power effectively so probably big, bigger turbo too bigger turbo yeah that's it's already coming so <laughs> <laughs> big things coming for 2jp uh, where we're at already is absolutely amazing so thank you guys you know, for everything. We'd have never been able to build this machine without you guys and without all the help of the sponsors. But, you know, for everybody out there who's watching these videos, who's subscribed, who continues to watch, who's donating on Patreon, buying the parts from Rick, buying the merch, buying the parts from Rocky Mountain, like you guys all have come together collectively 
to you know put this thing where it is and uh, I guarantee that we are going to take it way way farther it's gonna get crazy so if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing that we're uh, here every couple days with new video three videos a week so stick around we'll see you next time love you love you too just talking to the people watching but maybe <laughs> was, so was I oh god all right see you. <laughs> Okay, 2JP first hit in the sand, here we go.